Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, as he said, my name is Willie from South Africa, and I worked for, the, for two and a half years with George Parrott, the missions director here in, in Morningstar, um, as his assistant in the missions. And um, I'm doing prophetic Skype calls to the missionaries all over the world. And um, I... Translation, he's doing prophetic Skype calls to missionaries all over the nation, all over the world. So if you, if you don't understand, just wave your hand and I, I start speaking Afrikaans. <laughs> so um, so after I, I start over Skype and over email, I uh, form relationship with many pastors in the nations. And um, what catch my attention very much is the Middle East and um, what's going on there. And I also studied here at Morningstar and the Lord showed me um, Isaiah 17 verse 1, and Isaiah 17 verse, verse 1 said, and Damascus will be no more there. It will become a, a city of, of just stones. And, and we all know for the last four years, there is a um, civil war in Damascus. And um, I've got pictures where that city is, is shoot, it, I mean, the building is into pieces. And um, it catch my attention and I start studying into these things. And, um, and uh, we have missionaries in, in Syria and, and underground churches. And I'm in relationship with these guys. And we all know that the refugee states, the situations in the world around Syria is, that's going on at the moment. So I just want to show you the, the next slide. Um, you can see there the map of Syria and all the numbers of refugees in camps. And this picture was about January month. And those numbers growing daily. And I was praying into this, and the Lord, and the Lord, the Lord said to me, in Matthew nine thirty seven, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And I was praying for this conference, and I felt the Lord saying, "This people's going to be here. That's going to be part of the workers. That's going to be part of the workers. And we have people working in that refugee camps, and thousands daily coming to Jesus at this moment." This is amazing news. And um, is it possible for us to go? Maybe, I'm not saying go on the next trip, but there's three ways we can be involved. Our first thing is pray. Help pray for the workers. Jesus says, help pray for the workers. There are few. And the second one is give. And the third one is go on a mission trip. We can connect you with some of these people for just prayer requests and pray with them. And um, I'm just going to show one of the, the tents. This is in one of the refugee camps. We're in contact with this with these people, and every day they have a meeting of 2,000 people in their tents, and, and they feed them, and they preach to them the gospel, and these people give their hearts to Jesus. When there was peace, it didn't happen, but all we see in the news today is ISIS taking over, but the good news is Jesus is there, and these people receive Jesus, their Lord and Savior, and yes, we here can be involved in this. And as, as, as she was preaching last night, Alice was preaching last night, we must hear from the Holy Spirit, how can I be involved? He is the key. Amen? And I just want to read you, not last Sunday, Sunday ago, I received an email from one of our pastors in, in uh, Pakistan. He's, and I was, I was in, before church, here, here at my house, I was sitting on my couch and I was praying and I received this email. Early in the morning, he says, Dear Brother Vili, let me share you some sad news what happened this morning? There were two bomb blasts in different cities. This is in Pakistan. This pastor I know, I met him on Skype on an email for a year, communicate with him. And he says, there was two bomb blasts in Pakistan. He said, I was in one of those churches, and thank God I'm alive. But sadly, 25 people were killed. And um, I just want to show you some of the pictures. We are privileged to sit in churches here where these things don't happen. Just imagine. But these people need our help. But there is good news. And Isaiah 60 says, Arise and shine for your light has come. There's going to be thick darkness, but my glory will shine in this darkness. So I just show you a couple of pictures of, of, of these bomb blasts. Now the next pic, just a couple of months earlier, I've got a, um, pictures and emails from one of our missionaries who was also in Pakistan and preaching the gospel. And he, he, he was invited by a church, about 150 people in the church. And the very first night, before he preached, God showed him there was a, la a lame guy who couldn't walk right in front of the church. And the Lord said, don't preach, go raise him, heal him. 
and he laid his hands on that, on that guy in Pakistan, and the man miraculously got healed and walked. And within seven days, 40,000 Muslims give their lives to Jesus in Pakistan. Amen. And this October 20, 20 to 22nd, we have a missions conference in Moravian Falls. And we invite you to come. You're going to meet one of, you're going to meet, this is Etienne Blom. He's a, a personal friend and a, a, a spiritual son of Bob Jones. He's going to sp speak at the missions conference. Uh, Rick Joyner is going to speak. Um, David Hogan is going to speak. Um, uh, Pastor David White from Moravian Falls is going to speak. George Parra is going to speak. And um, there's also people from Back Jerusalem, that movement is going to speak. And, and they're going to speak of what's happening and how we're going to get involved. So I invite everyone, if you feel by the Spirit, to come to Moravian Falls August 20 to 22nd to come and hear what's going on in the world and get involved in these things.